All right, time for another math easy solution. Here we discuss uh, well Skype troubleshooting, and yeah, this problem actually I had earlier. I, I couldn't log into my Skype for some reason. Uh, I just said can't open Skype. You already signed in on this computer. Please sign out. I never did anything different, so I don't know why this came up. I still don't know exactly why, but I'll show you how to fix it. Well, this is the I'll show you. I'll paste this here. This is actually the problem. Yeah, so this this actually pops up. Uh, well, this isn't mine. I can. This isn't actually my uh, Skype. This is some other random name. But yeah, this this pops up here. I, I just Google this one because I don't have this problem anymore. So yeah, so you just Google this and it just comes up for some strange reason. I I've never, I don't know exactly why, but I'll show you how to fix it. Well, first thing you gotta know is um you gotta keep this in mind. Keep in mind app data. I'll show you what this is in a bit, and also hidden files hidden files on your computer so this actually uh, this update is actually hidden it's, it's actually hidden in the computer somewhere and update is where uh, stuff for uh, your application gets saved at so I'll show you um, yeah so to solve it you would basically go here uh, this is Windows 7 it'd be similar with any Windows I'm not sure Max but it shouldn't be too big of a problem so then just go to your C drive which is where everything usually saved is go to users and Matthew is my name so that's where the user is. So it, it, the app data is actually hidden inside here. So you would press Alt, go to Tools, Options, View, d Show Hidden Folders and Drives. Yeah, so then I did that. Now I can see the app data is there. So yeah, it's, it's hidden now. I can see it. So this is actually where everything gets saved, like where some apps, uh, applications save their stuff. So you just open, uh, just open it. So yeah, then you'll have these local, local, low roaming. Uh, so then you have to look for your Skype thing is saved. So it might be saved in here. It might be saved in here. It might be, yeah, but in this case, saved in here. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, you'll probably have to check. So there's Skype. So right now it works. Uh, what I actually had to do was um, I had to delete. You could either delete this. If it doesn't work, this just means that something's corrupted. This is what it's. Yeah, so uh, what I actually had to do, yeah, you could, uh, this, so this is where everything gets saved in. And like, uh, where your Skype or whatever, like, here's Mozilla Fire. This is, like, I think settings and other stuff or, like, automatic sign-in gets saved in. So what you have to do is either delete it or I would just uh, right-click. Uh, rename it. We'll just call this. We'll call this old Skype. Yeah, so all this does is... Yeah, so now it, it old Skype, so then what Skype automatically does is it, it goes to app data here, and then it, it either, if it, there is no Skype, it creates a new one. If there is one, it, it goes inside and uses whatever this file is. So if it was corrupted, which is which is the case usually when you when you automatically sign in, when it, you can't sign in like that. So you actually apply this to uh, other stuff, you have tr similar problems like this. You just change this and see if that would work. And then you would just go, yeah, sc Skype and log in. Skype yeah, and then you would uh, when you log in yeah so I just log in I think I know my password okay so I uh, yeah, log in and then uh, yes yeah, so if I go here let's go back and forward yeah it created a new Skype whatsoever yeah so it has your random stuff here and yeah, you could. There might be pictures or whatever your profile you want to save. You you could probably just drag it in there from here. I think the pictures would have it. Yeah, I don't really use Skype that often, but yeah. Then if you have stuff in here shared, you could obviously go back and and put it in there, uh, and put it in here. So yeah, so that's what it does. So that's that. That was the problem before. This was corrupted for some strange reason, and then I just put it in there. Well, um, yeah. Thanks for uh, watch. Yeah, and I hope you learned uh, hope this helps out if you ever have this problem with Skype or even any other other program that has it. Yeah, so that's basically what you would do, yeah. So you would just go to, um, just change this, so that's all. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in, and um, yeah, let's scroll up. Yeah, stay tuned for another mad easy solution.